Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy if you're brand new here and today we're gonna continue our series of handbags that we love but we are not quite there yet with adding to our actual buying list or wish list but nevertheless we are loving them we are thinking about them we're contemplating about them we are doing one brand at a time so last time i did louis vuitton i will link it up here for you guys to watch and this time we're doing chanel next time we should probably do i think dior and then i think i will finish with uh, hermes Yes, I do. I do like a lot of things from Hermes as well. Although I don't really talk about it that often because I'm not quite ready yet to dip my toes in it. But the first item on my list is the infamous Pearl Chanel bag. I totally missed out on the one that was from spring, summer 2019. Uh, this infamous kind of mini size one that is made of all faux pearls and I think it's mostly satin with a little bit of leather at nearly six thousand dollars plus tax here in Canada so it's it, it is up there it's quite expensive it's almost as expensive as a small classic flap but it is such a beautiful bag and yes I've definitely missed a boat on it I think a lot of us on this community have missed a boat on it and that resellers or personal shoppers are able to source them sometimes but they are charging literally like two legs and two arms for it at the end of the day i was the one who made the decision not to pursue it so i never even asked about it and by the time i decided that no maybe i should get it it was already too late so uh, it's one of those things but i still want a definitely a pro bag in my collection uh, I'm talking about the one from last season, but obviously going forward, it'll have to be from a new season. The second Chanel item on my list is the Urban Spirit Backpack. And I know that I've already tried it in the past in one of my shopping vlogs. It was actually a couple years, at least two or three years back. So at the time I was kind of, mm, I was kind of not sure whether I actually need a Chanel backpack. I think now they have the mini size, they have the small size and they have the medium. So I'm definitely aiming for the middle size, the, the small size. Um, I definitely would prefer a calf skin, although I do think that the lamb skin looks way more gorgeous and way more luxurious. But I'm just too scared for a larger size bag to have to kind of care for it. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on one in the future. They, it hasn't come back in a while now, so I really don't know what's going on. I also really like both the chevron and the quilted version but the chevron does look pretty good pretty darn good in that style and it also makes it keep its structure a little bit better normally you don't really have to close off the drawstring because if you close the flap on the side there's only a little gap so it really is not that big of a deal if you don't close the drawstring which to me is actually a more convenient and practical style or practical um, configuration so i do prefer that and I love the fact that the chain, you can just hold it by the hand. Next on my list is an item that I've never even mentioned on my channel, but I always think about it, especially more recently, and it is the small size classic flap. I really like the idea of the small size because it is really in between the mini size and the medium size, which the small size is actually a great size because I tend to just be a very light packer in general. They are still really expensive. If, if anything, they are so expensive that you might as well save up more and get your dream Hermes bag but at the same time I, I still feel like because it is a classic and it is really the perfect size proportion wise look wise on the body and I love that the chain is a little shorter than the mini size I just want to have one but I probably would go with a combination or a material leather or seasonal leather or color that really speaks to me something really special the next chanel bag that i wrote down is the trendy cc i know it's all lambskin and i know that it can still be quite delicate depending on the season i really do believe that certain seasons the lambskin is a lot more tougher durable thicker whatnot every time i go to my boutique i haven't really asked to look at it so i i know that there's a difference between season but i just don't quite know uh, which season was the one that I liked more so I just know that there is a difference I'm really intrigued about it because it's a bag that every time I see someone post a picture about it or every time I see someone wear it I'm like wow this bag is beautiful and it just seems like it's my vibe anyway I feel like it will go well with almost everything that I wear so I don't really know why I don't have it in my collection it's also a nice 
kind of style that is more on the dressier side but I can also dress it down I've seen a lot of people dress down the bag and it's fabulous it just looks like a very versatile bag and it's so roomy it is lambskin though which is one thing that scares me and I feel like I need to choose the right season lambskin that's the main um, challenge for this bag so we shall see I'll definitely keep my eyes open from now on because back then up until now I haven't really actively looked into it haven't really inquired about it either so going forward we shall see if one day I'll come up with an unboxing of the trendy CC because um, I, I've been admiring it from afar but now I'm really interested in one so next I wrote down the Chanel 19 bag and I have one this is the one that I have I have the small size in the lambskin and it's a lovely bag it's one of my favorites Definitely one of my top 10 uh, this year, I think, in terms of uh, 2020 purchases, top 10 for sure. And I want another one, or at least I'm intrigued about the larger size of this. So I definitely would be interested, or I'm thinking about the maxi size. So like, I think it's either called maxi or, or large, depending on who your essay is, basically. But the larger size one with the shorter strap so the shoulder strap on the larger size is quite shorter and it's mostly uh, geared towards a shoulder bag so a large oversized shoulder bag but obviously you can wear it crossbody if you can I just like the idea of that extra large oversized I think it would be nice to get it in a different material not leather hands tooth would be nice obviously but like a neutral tweed would be fine like the blue one that they came out initially that that's beautiful um, I said that I probably can't pull off that size but honestly if I ever got that size I would use it more as a work bag or I would probably use it more as a travel bag to be honest because it looks like a luggage bag with that size at least on my body frame so I, I think it would be a nice one to have just to have it you know I, I love the style I love the 19 and I, th I feel like the small is perfect for everyday wear and it's perfect just to have the small size but the large size is just so cool that I just want to have it you know I just want to have it for traveling or just to be extra cool to be able to bring more things in it put a laptop in it perhaps I don't know hopefully it will it will be enough support for the laptop but I I'm, I'm just imagining it you know I'm, I'm imagining owning one in that size I think it would be fabulous I have two more bags and then we'll move on to some accessories and ready to wear so the next one that I wrote down is the vanity case it looks like a lunchbox I know and it's probably not that practical although I don't have it so I can't really tell you hundred percent I can just imagine the zip because you kind of have to zip it all around the bag it's a little bit more fussy than just your you know flat bag or one straight zip but I like the look of it I, I like the look of it a lot um, the idea of zipping it around not so much you probably if you wanted to be super on the go you probably have to kind of leave it open a little bit um, not sure how you end up using yours maybe you can let me know down below it's definitely not a priority that's why it's my last two in the list but I like it I really just I just like the look it is really expensive too right I think I would be more interested in the medium size because apparently the mini size is really small but then there's a new small size the last bag before I move on to other things is the Deauville tote I know I've gone back and forth with that bag I owned the denim one with orange font in the medium size with the two different straps it was a wonderful cool style that I never reached for so I don't know why I'm still interested in it but I just think about it a lot if I ever get one again I'll probably go for the Deauville caviar so uh, I know that that one comes in a slightly different sizing I think the small size is still quite big but it's definitely a lot smaller than the regular fabric one that's the medium size with the two different handles so like the top handle as well as the shoulder strap so I do like the small size in the caviar it is still on the heavier side so I'm not quite sure whether I really need one or whether I should really add one but I'm still interested in it I think it's one of those bags that it's like it's all leather it's a Chanel bag and it's still relatively well priced compared to everything else they have especially if you compare it to like their classic flaps or even the 19 bag 
even the Gabrielle bag is getting so expensive like all their permanent styles are getting so so expensive now that the Deauville just looks cheap right I mean it's not cheap by any means but it's just it's just one of those things where I'm like, mm, should I have it in my collection? Let's talk accessories and ready to wear. I would really love to own a tweed jacket from Chanel. It's just a classic. I know there's a lot of different variations from all the different seasons. So it really just depends on which season you land in that you end up loving. I know that they're very pricey and that's a main problem. It, it's it's almost like, is it really, I'm not gonna really wear it enough to warrant the price. But Chanel Tweed is just quintessential, classic, and I think I would try to wear it a lot, especially just casually with jeans or more dressed up. I feel like it would be a piece that I can wear a lot. Uh, obviously, best to get a neutral color, so I would love to have one that's black and I would love one to be kind of like a cream or white color. I think it would be perfect to complement the rest of my wardrobe. I feel like you need to have Chanel shoes too, except that I, I will not, I will refrain from buying any more heels from any brands whatsoever, especially luxury brands. But what I would love to have is actually some slides, some sort of like Chanel slides, even though it's plastered in logo. I think it's cute to have those. Summer is also my favorite season, even though it's not really a real hot summer here in Vancouver anyway, but regardless, I would love to own some slides from Chanel. Um, I know a lot of them are kind of a hit or miss. I think every time I tried on Chanel shoes, they just really irritate my my feet. Uh, I don't even have wide feet, but I think Chanel shoes are really narrow, so I just I just don't even know if it's possible. But I like the idea of it. I like the idea of owning some Chanel slides. The last two items are fine jewelry. I decided not to look into watches from Chanel, even though they look beautiful. Um, I, I just don't know. I feel like if I'm gonna add a watch, I'll add a Rolex. Not even costume jewelry from Chanel, because I have enough costume jewelry as it is. So unless it's a really special piece, then I'll add it. But as of right now, on this list, I don't really have anything to mention. But in terms of fine jewelry, there's a couple that I really like from Chanel, and that they are actually quite well priced. Surprisingly, so there's this ring called the Coco Crush and it's so cute. It's very classic looking, something that you can wear on a daily basis, 18 karat. There's two different sizes. So there's the thicker one, there's the thinner one, which is in US dollars is $12.50 and then the thicker one is $22.40. It's actually really reasonable, like Chanel pricing wise, it's really reasonable because you're actually getting real gold. And then the extrait de camellia, so the camellia, little pendant with a diamond center super cute in pink gold 2400 i mean these prices are like are you serious i think some costume jewelry costs that much right so i was so surprised to see you know fine jewelry that are really well priced really i mean they're probably really dainty and like very little gold but still it's real gold you can wear it in the shower if you wanted to you don't have to remove everything and you don't have to worry about them tarnishing. If you want to start off with jewelry at Chanel but you don't want to quite buy costume jewelry because at the end of the day it's all just man-made material, then go for the uh, fine jewelry that's more in their entry-level pricing because it's still worth it, I think. It's so... I mean, it, I was surprised to see how good the pricing was. So yeah, going forward, I'll definitely keep my eyes open on these items, especially the few that I really feel like is missing in my collection. You can look forward to my Dior one next probably, Hermes coming up as well. And then of course I'll have my revised actual wish list, actual buy list that I feel like I should get because um, I was also asked to revise my wish list, which I think is a good idea because we always change our minds. I also have started live streaming. I will definitely keep you guys posted on Instagram, especially on stories. I'll definitely announce it there first all the time and then uh, we'll go from there. If you're brand new to my channel, I would love to have you back. So please do consider subscribing. I would really, really love to have you here as part of my youtube family if you've loved this video or if you find my content of value please give this a thumbs up and i will talk to you guys again very soon bye